look who's here and he's got torches friends it's the dumpster we're going into the shop today we're gonna build an axe we're gonna box oh he's got the torches he's got it all the big heavy chevy's here here's my man oh yeah the only thing i don't see is a p41 <laughs> he's got a 41 friends he's got oh and look at this you gotta bring coffee you s and the stand up and buck eh yeah look at this character friends so listen this guy here dumpster how old are you dumpster 28 turning 29 in june you are aren't you why did i know that i want to get old sure <laughs> this this young guy nick let's be honest where where do you how do you attest all your your craftiness to your dad don't you 90 percent of it you do the other 90 percent is the old uh well not one to swear the old term f around and find out just getting in there having us having a mind to do stuff it's only one way to learn and do it yeah, and that's the kind a lot of it comes with my dad from growing up because he was a, well you know him he's the type of guy that if he ever needed a tool he wouldn't buy it, he wouldn't buy it. plus yeah. with him having a shop in the 70s a lot of it yes he's been playing with pontiacs for years and everything else is that what it was pontiacs he had a one of his first cars was a 64 gto oh i love it so uh but same sort of thing it was one of those if something breaks you don't buy a new one you try and fix it if yeah. you can't fix it then you buy a new one yeah or even if it was like a part 90 percent of the time metal if it can be welded we weld it yeah so yeah a lot of the stuff and you know i basically grew up with, well literally grew up with wrenches like that. yeah was, uh, from your dad working with your dad yeah i stole his protos so then they bought me a cheap tool set for Christmas when I was about five, and apparently I threw it and said, I don't want that, it's too cheap. To <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So so this is, friends, not to get all deep on you, but I mean, he, I love his dad. Uh, his dad's a great, great guy. Very old school, though. He, he is, no, he's really old. <laughs> he's really old school, and I can tell by your guys' relationship. He wasn't, it's not that he was hard on you, but, but, like I can see your relationship with your dad, there's respect there, but yeah. he 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 there, wanted you to learn. There wasn't a lot of praise and good jobs with stuff. It was just it was. What are you doing? That's not right. Let's get it right. Yeah, it was very. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't regret a single thing about my childhood. I'm really thankful for how I was brought up compared to a lot of people I know my age. Yeah. I would rather dive into something and learn as I go if I have an idea about it then pay someone to do it because at the end of the day even if it's not all right you're still learning you're still farther ahead as far as what you're learning when you were to start it's true and it's it's that it's that mentality of not not a lot of people like it's interesting because i didn't have that growing up i didn't have that old man saying hey you know pass me the wrench or here's the, just whatever it was like yourself you know and i always think that's such a cool thing I, I learned later in life. I wanted to learn how to do this stuff, so I dove in. Yeah. Just bought a motor, flipped it over on a stand, and... That's what I'm about to do now for this thing. Yeah. So I just wanted to touch on that, friends, because Nick, you know, he's 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 a crafty son of a gun. Fake, you know... Fake it till you make it. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? But he brought the torches out today, which is cool. Um, Those are the small ones. There's a bigger one in here with a rosebud. So anyway, friends, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get a couple of tools out of here. We're going to go over to the shop, fire up, get the forge running, and uh, start playing around, get the welder fired up. We're going to have a day in the shop. It's a great day for the day in the shop. We're just driving to work here, friends, across the field. Uh, I got I got my buddy here, Dumpster. The plan is, is to start fabricating, r and this axe. We got our good, listen, if you don't know who Broad River Forge is, friends, he's the man that built this for us. And Jay Daniels made this happen a lot faster than it would have if, if he didn't. Jay Daniels, you are a special human being. Go ahead, Nick. Nick's got torches. I freaking love this little cart pad. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No one else came with the torches? Oh, you're kidding. I've always wanted.
wanted one of those. Are you serious? Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, these are deadly. <laughs> oh, I love these. I've been looking for these forever. Oh, that's funny, Nick. Yeah. Are you gonna try them, suckers? Well, I think they suddenly is empty. The auction's got about 550 at this amount, though. Yeah, well, then we'll just fill them suckers up. Oh, good. The small cutting head. Wow. Oh. I think it's 25 foot hoses on. I'm, uh, I've gotten smarter. I light paper and I stick the paper in there and I turn the propane on. Nah. Like this, stick this in whack. That'll work. <laughs> okay, friends, we got our lid. I, I actually ended up, me and Nick just trickled the gas in and I ended up using the little sparker, little chick, chick, chick thing. So we got the fours going, we got the chunk in there. What else are we gonna do, Nick? Uh, That's the stuff, isn't it? Friends, you see what I'm saying? This is the first. This is the first one. It's important when you build these mufflers to. You, you either have to indent yourself right there, so you can get your nut on your fasteners. You know what I mean, friends? Like, like that. This looks like it'll work just fine, though. things we're not afraid to show people things if you that, that was one thing that uh when i was a young tree man that i was very sad when i worked for a guy who would never use hide his knots from me and all this and i was it made me a little bit sick and i thought yeah no i'm not kidding you he did he hid his stuff look at this character i feel like vin diesel you are vin diesel <laughs> so this is how we bend this pipe where you go nick it's not pretty but it works.
philosophically about it anyway, so I'm not too concerned about it. No, so that gets closed up. So now we cut a piece out, friends. Friends, pop that up, and boom, and he bends it. Let's all get filled with well. Probably go a little more. I'm gonna start there. Friends, check this out. I brought that chunk of rail out of my bunker I had sitting there. And then look at, there's my next billet that I'm gonna practice with. So we actually, it's the same size as the train rail. It's the exact same size I need to build my billets. My bullets, look, side and front, back and front. We, Nick's gotta go. I ran through, I didn't watch the videos. Uh, Brad sent me the videos. Brad's been incredibly hel uh, helpful. So here's what I got done today. And it's not, I think I'm cold now. Yeah, I am. What's that? Oh, interesting. Hey, what is that noise over there? So it's it's very ugly, but look, I'm getting there. This is, this is a... Uh, a very barbaric situation, friends, but I was able to punch eye. It's crooked, I know. I know. The billet was crooked, for crying out loud. This is mild steel, friends. So, and I did not do it the way I was supposed to do it, but friends, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm learning the process. This is why I bought mild steel. So, there it is. That's what I done today. And now that I've watched the video again that Brad sent me, it's gonna be much more helpful. And uh, this year will be very nice to play with. This, I will wait till I get my system down. I'll wait till I get my, my program down and someone is gonna get a phenomenal ax from this stuff. It will be auctioned. 1000% it will be auctioned for something good. Indeed. Look at that song. Joe Reyes, I love you, buddy. Incredible. Incredible. So we're gonna cut that, then we're gonna cut that. This saw has been a godsend. Joe Reyes, you are a wild man, complete wild man. We got it, it could be better and it will be better. Yeah, it, it works lovely, it, it, very nice, very All nice. Right. Oh, what's that? A little piece of gasket on there, get that off there.
That's a good sign. So friends, it, if you put a muffler on and, and your idle changes drastically, it's not a bad sign, don't, don't be concerned, but this hasn't changed much. You don't know until you stick it in the wood. sound wicked great yes but they actually work but uh we have a couple more designs we're gonna try and we're gonna use this saw as the uh because it's, it's a stock saw after you run a, a a brand new muffler friends after you run it um always tighten it up right always tighten it up because the heat it uh yeah you know what i'm saying so, uh, I'm happy with it. I think it could be better. I just have a few. This, these, these 372s, if you ever, ever get the opportunity to get a 372, get one. This is a hand file, friends. It's a 24-inch bar hand file. It's not incredibly sharp, but it's not dull neither. But it has the corners. Yeah, it, it, it's fine. It cuts fine. It, it could be better and it will be better after I file it. Yeah. But it cuts good. It cuts fine. Um, very enjoyable saw to run. That just comes up out of there. Ba-boom! And it's gone. But I think what I might do 
Yeah, it, it works lovely. It, it, very nice. Very nice, actually. Anyway, friends, that's what we were doing today. It is absolutely miserable. Did a bit of foraging. <coughs> Excuse me. Did a bit of foraging. Getting my, my system down. You want to uh, pull her up? Won't start? I'd rather get it done. takes so much time um, so you can imagine if I sold axes if all I ever did was sell axes this is what it would be just this is it this, this is what it would be and I don't want that to be that's not what I want I, I don't want to do this day, day in day out Each side is different, so this one here, even even this will be off a bit like this. They're not dead square right. It's where it looks the best on the with the grain and the burns and that on each side. So you see this? So you look at it like that, it looks wonderful. You flip it, you want to hang it like that, you can still read it. Bucking special, right? Bucking special, bucking special. So Jim, buddy, <laughs> I just Two, these things are huge. They're just massive. These are. I'm proud of my axes, friends. I am. I'm, I'm proud of my work. These are big axes, friends. They're Tasmanian patterns, and they're big. But the finished product, a bucking special, is a nice axe. I, I, I'm gonna say that because they're mine, but it's true. They just are. I mean, look, look at this, friends. Burnt in forever. It's on the handle. I mean, this looks good. Look at, look at how this looks. Let's just, let's look, shall we? Huh? Come on. Let's get a good gander at that. Yeah, I know. I know. It is lovely. What happened there? Ah, I see. Okay, the Ford truck, the dump truck, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. Dumpster is a fantastic dude. I've got some good people around me. Look at what's his 
crazy grease ball yesterday. Morgan. Morgan is, you hear that saying salt of the earth? That's, that's Morgan. He, he is just a good guy. Um, so friends, we, we got the truck running. My, my spirits were soaring yesterday. They were soaring or did for whatever it was. Um, something happened friends. I, I, I think what happened, maybe something, the car went goofy. They did sit for a long time. Um, so now it, it, it flooded and it never started again. And I believe I've hydraulic it, not hydraulic it, but, but washed the, the lubrication out of the cylinders. It's so flooded. I took the carb off, looked in the intake. You could see fuel in there. I've been there, but I don't believe I've damaged it, <laughs> but I may have. I don't know. I've tried to start the sucker. Like, you know, you don't know, but I'm going out there right now. We're my, I'm helping my wife today. It's Friday. I'm putting this video up for you now so I can carry on and I'm always thinking about you guys, always. So, um, thank you for going over and seeing Morgan. That helped his channel out a lot, friends. And if you haven't been over there to see Morgan at Wild West Garage, please go over and see the dude. He's a good, good guy and he does neat stuff. Easy, easy to watch. Easy to watch. Uh, <clears throat> no, no frills, no gimmicks, just straight up hard work and good guy. Anyway, the plugs are wet, friends, in that Ford. I'm going out there right now. I'm going to pull the plugs, pull the brain box so I got no spark, and I'm going to turn it over. It's struggling turning over, which tells me I think there's fuel in the cylinders. So I'm going to go fix it. Friends, thanks again for watching our videos. You know what to do. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed anything today. Say hi to Dumpster, Morgan. And thank you all again for watching. Be kind, friends, to one another. The world's starting to open up. I feel it. It's nice to see. Work hard and be honest. And we'll catch you on the next video.